So right now we have a very good method of maintaining maps, sustaining maps. And this method is, is very useful for solo self found or for when you just arrive with maps. So you can see that if you click on, I don't know, you get, for example, I'm going to train six maps here or tier two. Go for canyon for you, I got some, a bunch of canyons here. And then you, you, can, you can check the, the, your atlas. And if you, if the, the, the canyon is in one zone, currently the atlas will only, um, the, this method will only give you maps of this zone. So I don't even know where canyon it is. Canyon. So canyon is here in Howard Hammond. So what you can do is, uh, depending on the, the, the zone, you can get maps from that zone by selling three maps at a time to a vendor. So I go here and then I put three maps and then I can get an atoll. And if I modify which map I sell, I got a different map, atoll museum. Or if I just remove this and get this one here, now I get lighthouse and then this one here, colossum. So the different combinations of, of different maps that you can give of the same type will give you a different map of that zone. So here, for example, I got a museum, and you can see here that museum is also in Howard Hammett. So it's very useful for the beginning of the, the, your exploration of the atlas, and also um, but for map sustaining. The problem is that we don't know what will happen after the, the uh, shake-up of the atlas of the 3.17. So hopefully, because it's just one zone, you can obtain any map with this method, which would be brilliant. But you have to check. We have to check. We have to wait for the expansion to come over or somebody to answer uh, this question in the forums or something like that. But so far, this seems to be a promising method for sustaining maps for when you just arrive at the maps. So I hope to have I have helped. And if you enjoyed the content, please subscribe. See you.